Dear Class of 2020, Over the last few weeks, I have debated whether or not I create a senior class video. The people I have met and the memories I have made are irreplaceable, and if I were to make a video, I would want it to live up to the amazing time I have had here at Boyd. The video would have to be different and more creative than a lot of the other senior class videos that I've ever seen before. And with that in mind, I got to work. Everything started about four years ago, when we walked the halls of Boyd for the very first time as freshmen. I was super nervous and I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where any of my classes were. I remember I was nervous, but I could just remember this was the building that both my older brothers had graduated from. And think about their memories of high school and how I was excited to make my own memories and excited to be a Bronco. Everyone was so welcoming, so helpful. I made so many friends on that day. All the teachers were amazing. I realized that this is where I was gonna be for the next four years and I kind of liked it. I was really nervous. I remember thinking it was so big and I had no idea where to go. I was able to meet so many amazing teachers and I made so many new friends. I, I'm the oldest uh, sibling in my family, so I don't have anybody to teach me how high school works. And also, I'm the only one in my family to go to American high school. So, you know, this is brand new territory for everybody in my family. So it was kind of scary. I was super nervous on my first day at Boyd, mainly because I thought I was gonna get lost. But those big signs that say like H Hall, those really helped me out. First day of school, I felt nervous and excited and I was looking forward to meeting new friends. I felt really excited about being able to go to a high school because, you know, you see all the TV and um, movies that show how awesome it is, and it really was awesome. On my first day of high school, I was super nervous, but I remember I walked in with Chase Bradshaw, and luckily I met a bunch of really awesome people really quickly. Um, and it got a lot easier after that. I had just moved to Texas two weeks before school started, so I knew absolutely no one, but getting into the school year, it was fine. Like I got lost a lot, but then it was okay because I started making friends and everything was fine. And honestly, I can't imagine having gone to high school anywhere other than Boyd. I was insanely nervous, but I had my friends, teachers, and just classmates kind of changed my mindset. I mean, I just remember I was kind of scared and nervous. It's high school and that I was, going to something new. Cool, I felt really scared and I also felt that the building was way too long. My first day of freshman year, I was super nervous but excited to start a new journey. On my first day of school, I do remember I was pretty scared. Uh, luckily, I had my older brother. Uh, he was there with me, but I was all the less excited to uh, start something new and uh, it turned out to be great. My first day of freshman year, I was really excited to meet new people, but also nervous to go to high school. On my first day of school, Boyd, I was pretty nervous, but I was also really excited and it was a pretty good day all throughout. I was really scared about where we needed to stand in the morning before the bell rang. I was scared, do I stand in the rotunda or do I wait by my classroom? I remember that always freaked me out. Looking back on it, the school may have been intimidating at first, but we quickly adjusted, immediately influencing Boyd and what it stands for. There were so many great times that made our high school experience so amazing. My favorite high school memory was um, Special Olympics junior year. It was track and field, and I loved hanging out with all of our awesome special needs friends, and we all got super weird tan lines, and we got sunburnt, but it was really fun. Just getting to see all of my friends outside of the school setting in a way where we can we can just all socialize and have have fun. Those, I really cherish those memories and th those are definitely my favorite events. It's hands down, then the blackout pep rallies. I know we didn't have that our junior and senior year, but freshman and sophomore year, just like getting to cheer and do like a routine with those, was so fun. It was really fun to see how everybody went all out for those. Probably junior year, whenever baseball was playing Allen in playoffs, and we were at um, McKinney North and everyone was just so close together and everyone was like fighting and we ended up winning and everyone was like, ah. My favorite event at McKinney Boyd is definitely pep rallies. They're so much fun and they get you so hyped, especially before football games on Friday nights or Thursdays. My favorite memory of high school was junior year when baseball went to state and I got to cheer them on at every game. 
My favorite event from Boyd is definitely all of the Beat High events. It was sophomore year and we were like one of the first ones that we had seen to, have, to win the Go Broncos chant. Um, even as sophomores and from then on I knew that we would be the best class. The sophomore year when the varsity boys soccer team got to go to Midland for playoffs, I was a student athletic trainer so I got to go with them and it was so fun. My favorite high school memory was from junior year. To get initiated on the varsity we had to have a dance battle and me and Ferg danced to Fergalicious the entire song in front of everybody. My favorite high school memory was supporting the baseball team on their playoff run. My favorite memory from high school was going down to Austin with Justin to UIL State. Uh, we made a lot of friends and had a really good time. First football game as a senior, it was the Red Out, and it was a great start to senior year. This year we went to our state convention and performed in front of 6,000 people for Matilda. That was amazing. It was an experience I'll never forget. Considering I was just up like a woman with giant chesticles, so yeah. Um, that was my favorite memory. One of my top ones is playing high in the Crosstown Volleyball game at Boyd. It was super intense, both student sections were super packed, and the energy was just super high, and we ended up winning in five sets, which was awesome because we needed the win to um, still be able to go to playoffs, so that was awesome. And I would have to say my favorite would be winter formal junior year or football games in general. My favorite high school memory was being in student council. Trebuchets and physics. Boyd was when the uh, boys basketball team beat McKinney High um, at the beginning of this season. My favorite memory is playing pickleball with my friends. My favorite event from high school was probably the last Boyd versus High game because even though we lost, it was just like, it was fun to watch. Like it was just a roller coaster of emotions. Like it was crazy. And you know, being on the sideline was just like a whole different thing. Like getting to watch everyone kind of go through those emotions, like, it was really cool. However, it wasn't just the events that made it so memorable. Our class was involved in so many organizations, all of which had their own successes. I was involved in orchestra all four years, and junior and senior year I was in PALS, which is the best class I've ever done, and I just love doing PALS. It's such a blessing, and it just warmed my heart every day going to those kids. I was on the volleyball team, I was in NHS, Green Cord, Red Cross Club, HOSA, and Student Council. I played hockey for McKinney Ice Hockey Club all four years of my high school. I was a part of the Lady Broncos soccer team for four years. I was involved in Student Council and NHS. I played football for all four years, and then for three out of the four years, freshman through junior year, I was a part of uh, BNN. I'm a part of the McKinney Boyd Balladors and National Honor Society. I was involved in PALS. I played on the soccer team. I participated in National Honor Society, PALS, Golf, Philosophy Club, and Green Corps. I was a part of the theater program and I was in um, acapella and fusion choirs. In cross country for a semester, then track for three years. I was in art for one year, choir for four years, and Red Cross for two years. I played soccer, I ran cross country and track, and I was also in National Honor Society. So I was involved in various clubs and organizations, and my top two favorites were Taffy and FFA. I was in NHS and Taffy. I was so blessed to be a part of choir, theater, and student council. While I was in high school, I was a part of our band and the Bronco News Network as a producer. I was involved in PALS, NHS, and soccer. I've been a JV Bell, a varsity balladora, a cellist and orchestra, a member of Boyd Blooms, and an FFA. This year I was a part of the football team and was involved in NHS as well. Freshman year I was in FCCLA, junior year I was in Taffy, and then the Thirst Project as well, which was a small little club organization that um, Paige Cyber actually brought to Boyd. Um, but all three of them were super fun and I enjoyed my time in them. During high school I played volleyball through my junior season and I'm a part of National Honor Society. I was involved in volleyball, NHS, Key Club, and PALS. Our class is filled with incredible people ready to embark on their next journey in life. And even in trying times like this, we look to the future. Um, and I will be attending Oklahoma State University in the fall. And my plans are to major in music performance and education. And my goal is to be a college professor of music. 
I will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word in San Antonio, Texas, majoring in rehabilitative sciences and playing soccer. Go Cards! After high school, I'll be attending the University of Alabama and I'll be majoring in psychology. I am planning on attending LSU and studying marine biology. In the fall, I plan to attend the University of Michigan where I'm gonna major in political science and minor in business. My plans after high school are to attend the University of Nebraska at Lincoln to study sports media and broadcasting. I plan on going to the University of Florida majoring in biology on the pre-dental track. I'm going to the University of Arkansas. Texas State. Next year, I'm going to TCU. Go Frogs! I will be attending the University of Texas at Austin and I will be majoring in psychology. I will be attending Baylor University and majoring in health sciences. My plans after high school are to attend the University of North Texas to major in aviation logistics. In the fall, I will be attending the University of Oklahoma majoring in civil engineering. After high school, I plan to attend Auburn University and major in nursing, and I hope one day to be a nurse practitioner and a medical missionary as well. I will be attending Texas A&M in the fall. My plans after high school is to attend Texas Tech University in the fall. I will be attending St. Edward's University in the fall. In the fall, I'm going to Baylor University. I'm um, super excited about that opportunity and uh, all that God's going to give us in the future. Austin Community College for two years to get my basics done and an associate's degree in event planning and hospitality management. And then after that, I'm going to transfer to a four-year university to get my bachelor's degree. I'm going to be taking classes as well with the TSFA to further my education in floral design. I plan to go to Sam Houston State University, major in criminal justice, and pursue my career in being a forensic psychiatrist. I'm going to Texas A&M. So after high school, I plan to go to Oklahoma State in Stillwater, and I'm going to be majoring in Nutritional Sciences Pre-Med. I'll be attending Harding University. Go Bison! I will be attending the University of West Florida in Pensacola in the fall, and I will be majoring in Environmental Science. Um, I hope to become a Florida Wildlife Commission biologist and study fish population and fish movement. My plans after high school are to attend Texas Tech University. I plan on majoring in kinesiology and then soon thereafter getting my doctorate in physical therapy. Reckham! My plans after high school are to attend Blinn College for a year and then hopefully transfer into Texas A&M to study nutritional sciences and become a dietitian. I'll be attending OSU in the fall. After graduating, I'll be attending Oswego State University and majoring in broadcasting and mass communications. I'm going to University of Texas A&M in the fall. After high school, I will be going to Westmont College and continuing to play baseball. I'll be attending Texas A&M University in the fall. After high school, I plan on going to college to become a teacher, and I also plan on getting my cosmetology degree. I will be attending Texas Tech University in the fall, majoring in biology on the pre-dental track, hoping to become a pediatric dentist. I'm really excited for this next journey in life, and I can't wait to see what happens. Once I graduate from Boyd, I'll be going to the University of Oklahoma. After graduation, I plan to attend Holland University and play lacrosse and be on their writing team. After high school, I plan to go to uh, Blinn Community College for two years, get my basics done, then hopefully I'll be transferring over to A&M my junior year where I'm going to major in kinesiology. After graduation, I plan on attending the University of Texas at Austin, and I will be studying mathematics. My plans now for after high school is I will be attending Belmont University in Tennessee, and I will be majoring in music. Next year, I will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. In the fall, I plan on attending Texas Tech University, majoring in pre-med and minoring in business. I'm going to UT Austin, and I'll be majoring in economics. Hook em horn. After high school, I'll head to Texas A&M to study business. After high school, I'm going to be attending UT Austin. And I'm going to Ole Miss in the fall and majoring in early childhood education. I'll be attending Texas Christian University in the fall. Go Frogs. I'm continuing that calling for another year so I can build up some more credits and get some, rid of some of my basics. And then I'm wanting to transfer to the University of Oklahoma in the fall of 2021 to major in journalism and a minor in political science. And then I'm wanting to go to law school, which I don't know where yet, and become a lawyer. My plans after high school are to attend the University of Arkansas and major in business. And after high school, I plan on attending the University of Texas at Austin to study mechanical engineering. 
plans this August are to move to Colorado Springs to serve on staff at New Life Church under Pastor Brady Boyd, while also completing an online degree in ministerial leadership through Southeastern University. My plans after high school are to go to a college called William Woods University, all the way in Missouri, and I will be double majoring in American Sign Language Interpreting and Theater. No matter where we go or what we do, McKinney Boyd will always have a special place in our heart. The past four years have been life-changing for every single one of us, and I think it's fair to say that it will be missed. However, we're about to embark on a new journey in our lives, and with that will come new challenges and obstacles that we've never experienced before. But fortunately for us, we are prepared. I would like to personally thank every single person involved in making these past four years the best four years of my life. I never could have predicted I would be where I am today, and I am so proud to stand beside every single other student graduating with our class of 2020. Once a Bronco, always a Bronco. Show me, sorry you have changed now, but it's the same.